I'm gonna keep this one short. Okay, would I lie to you? No. Would I lead you wrong? No. Okay? Would I ever tell you what to do, how to do things, or how to think? Let me tell you just right now what you'd say to that. No, I wouldn't, okay? I got important work that I need to do right after this video. I'm gonna try to make it sweet. I'm gonna try to make it short. I'm just gonna tell you things that I wish somebody had told me when I was just a little baby. It's time to get learned. Here we go. Learning glasses. Doesn't that feel better? Number one most important rule, top of the rules of them all. Okay, forget everything else that I ever told you, just listen to this one rule. This is how you're gonna get into animation faster than all the other little kids out there, okay? It's all based around this idea of fail faster. For the longest time, for a long time, I thought about failing and how important it is. So I started to do this video, but then I looked up on YouTube and then there's a video called Fail Faster. It's got a lot of important tips, you can go check that out. But I feel like the guys who made the video, they're, they're missing out on some of the, they weren't putting enough emphasis on the failing part. I'm gonna talk about how having this mindset can get you into the industry a little bit faster. All right, shut up and watch me fail on this, this little piece that I did here. I'm sure you've heard people say all of your life, learn from your mistakes, yada, yada, yada. Okay, you, it's easy to say that. Okay, just learn from your mistakes. But how do you go about actually learning from your mistakes and changing your mindset? Because it's hard, I'll admit, it's hard to learn from your mistakes. You have a mindset of thinking that failure is a negative thing. I feel like it is our jobs as humans to take seemingly negative emotions that's been placed on us and manipulate them to work in our favor. Okay, because there's no such thing as a good thing or a bad thing, okay? Things just happen. It's us that we put mindsets to them, okay? Nature doesn't care about that. Things happen, they do happen, they don't happen. That's all there is, on and off. You're gonna take the things that are affecting you negatively, that you think are negative things, we're gonna manipulate that to help you. I can already hear you saying, boo-hoo, this is hard, oh, this is too hard for me, blah, blah, blah. Understand this, when, I, when I'm working for a client, when I'm doing any personal piece or anything like that, I'm purposefully going out of my way to fail. Okay, I know that I'm gonna fail and I'm trying to. I go in with that mindset. I want to push something so far that I'm testing the boundaries, baby. Okay, I don't take a job that doesn't challenge me. I don't sit back and relax. Okay, if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna live life that way, please do it. That's why we're here, is to eventually come to that point of relaxation. But for me, I thrive when I'm winning. And it's a very simple thing to win. It really is. You just gotta change your little brain and how you think about things. If you think you're not winning, you're not winning. Okay, cause it's all in your little head. It's all in your little baby brain. On those projects, I'm saying, please, please tell me I'm doing something wrong. Because as soon as you do, boom, I've got that knowledge. I've got that knowledge of what I did wrong. I have, at that point, I have the upper hand on everybody. Especially if the correction is coming from a professional in the industry. Okay, that's why I say that it's best to get into the animation industry early. Don't try to blast your skill set and then try to get into the animation industry. I think it's so much more helpful whenever you get in earlier and work your way up from that. All right, I have other videos on that. You go check those out. Okay, well, why do we think this way? It's very obvious we're born as a culture to think of failure as a negative thing. It is in our nature to feel that it's a negative thing, but it's also really pushed on us. And all that is, is a mindset. All you gotta do, baby, all you gotta do, you flip that to a positive. It's no longer negative and you are seeking failure now. Immediately, you're probably gonna think that failure is connected to quitting. Failure, quit, failure, quit. No, that's not what we're going for. I'll get to that in a second. So how does this translate into real world problems? Do mindsets actually affect how you're going to produce things? All right, I'm gonna set you straight on this. Let's get something straight here. Hesitation, fear, anxiety, stress, doubt. These things come from a negative mindset of failure and they, they're very real. They can affect how you work. They, they physically affect how you act. They're actualized. They're, they're, they, become, they become solid and real and they actually hold you back in life. Okay, and I don't wanna, I'm, I'm not trying to do some hippie talk right now, okay? This is stuff that actually hinders production. I'm talking years and years slower, kids, okay? And this is what I feel like nobody's talking about, is that they think, oh yeah, you just need to think positive, man. Like, learn from your mistakes and this and that. You don't understand the value of changing your mindset about failure. When this stuff holds you down, fear, anxiety, doubt, hesitation, that's a big one. That's hesitation in your line confidence. That's hesitation in your ability to work and finish products, uh, projects. Literal, physical hesitation that holds you back for a very long time. And it's such a simple solution, kids. You change your little brain. I know it's hard. 
because you're raised a certain way. It comes from being raised a specific way. Thankfully, I wasn't raised that way, but it's so clear to me from looking at other people that I'm around that they're raised a specific way. And, and then I talk to them and it turns out, yeah, their parents, they, they taught them that failure was a bad thing. It's a negative thing. They say, oh, look what you did there. You failed. Some even going to the point of laughing or, or having that air of laughing like, ah, look, you can't do it on your own. You're not good enough, not good enough. Or even the mindset of, you need help, look at you, look how pathetic you are, you can't even do this on your own, you need help. It's hard to come out of that. I understand that it's hard to switch your mindset to thinking that failure is a positive thing, but it's, it's all you gotta do. In this industry, in my life in general, I've seen people whom it has stunted. Uh, mo uh, mentally and emotionally and just all around life it, the 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 fear of failure has literally left people motionless they don't even want to try because they think they're gonna fail or they know they'll fail I'm just gonna compare the two mindsets really fast here's the standard process that kills your producti uh, pr productivity before you even start you're setting yourself up for failure by thinking this way okay here, here it is okay so you start out with the task and then you say, even before, in the beginning of the task, you're, you're already thinking, oh no, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. And you're bunched up physically or emotionally after you drag yourself through the task and you finally finish it. And then you say, oh no, I did fail, just like I knew I would. Oh no, I'm failing, failure, failure. Now at that point, you're focused on not having accomplished anything at all. Okay, this amounts to nothing learned. Started a negative, ended a negative. Not very smart. All right, now here's what you do. Here's how I had to mold myself in, into thinking this way. All right, I got a task, I'm starting it. Yes, I'm excited for it. I'm starting at a positive and I'm gonna say that I'm going to push this task until I fail at it. What I mean by that is I'm gonna push it to a point where I know I'll learn something by the end of it. When, uh, okay, an example of this is when, I, when I'm working with Mir, I'm doing the craziest camera movements that I can. And I know they kind of want smooth camera movements, but I'm really shaking things up because I want feedback from those professionals. I want them to say this was good this was good but what you did here was bad i don't want them to say yeah this was all this is all good enough i don't want them to say this is good enough i want them to say this was amazing this is what you need to uh, work on all right we're not looking for good enough because anybody can do good enough okay back to the mindset yes i'm gonna push this until it fails and when it does when it does fail my job isn't done okay i'm going to pick apart how i failed what did i do wrong when did it happen uh, and how, this is really important, how do I see it coming in the future? And how do I, you know, choose a different path? That's all it does, it takes a little bit of thinking, okay? If you're sitting down and you're just drawing away, that's not gonna work. All right, and then when the task is done, I've accomplished more than just one thing. If I, especially if I failed at that thing and picked apart how, why I failed at it, then I've been learning so much more on that one task. And most importantly, I'm excited to fail again in the future. That's a, that's a big one. I'm excited to get out there and, and fail again because, I mean, that's all life is. You're just failing and failing over and over. So don't be, don't be surprised when you fail, okay? Seek it. Go after it. And don't be such a little freaking baby. <laughs> Quit your whining. All right, you see this in sports a lot. Football, they do rewatches. You know, they see where they messed up, they see what they did right. All right, it's not a new mindset, okay? It's existed for a long time. But the, most people won't have this mindset. So if you do, you're gonna be far, far ahead of the competition. Do you hear this? Do you hear this girl snoring? <laughs> Every time I try to make a video, this only works if you study up on your mistakes. Obviously, you gotta study up on those mistakes. Don't shy away from them. Take your mistakes, look them in the face. Look up, look them. Also, this doesn't mean that you can sit there and scribble with your little baby crayon all day. That's not how we do things here. You gotta, fo you gotta keep your focus on good drawing skills. Focus on other good artists to see what you're doing wrong. Perfect practice, all right? I got another video on that, you check that out. There's a smart way to fail. You need to fail smarter, you need to fail faster. Okay, but you can fail at failing, so watch out for that one. All right, to wrap this up, I'm gonna give you two big goal, major, two major tips on how to fail faster, how I, learn, how I learned to fail better and smarter. All right, I was looking at this piece that I was drawing, and you can see me flipping the canvas. All of my pieces, you can see me flipping that canvas back and forth. That's looking for the failure.
If you're used to something looking a certain way, if you draw with it flipped one way the whole time, and then suddenly you flip it the other way, you're getting a fresh look at things. I got used to seeing my face a specific way for the longest time, just looking in a mirror. All right, but then you take a picture of yourself and you're seeing what, uh, what other people see. And that's gonna look a little bit different to you uh, if you're not perfectly symmetrical, which I'm definitely not. Okay, I got a wonky beard, my eyes are all whichever way, and my, my nose is all crooked. All right, so you flip your canvas all the time to make sure it looks good in both ways. Step two. All right, this is kind of on the same vein of that. Step away from your work. All of these pieces that I've been doing recently, I didn't do them one by one. I worked on every single one of these at the same time. I would draw a little bit on one and then draw a little bit on the other, draw a little bit on the other because you need a fresh view. If you're working on the same thing from beginning to end and then you post it, you're gonna look back at it uh, like two days later and it's gonna look weird. Take a step away from it, go do a little jog, uh, do some push-ups, go eat you a bowl of cereal or something, and then come back to it when you got a fresh take on it. Flip that canvas and then uh, get you a little, you know. All right, last step, step three. This really pushed me so much further than any of these. Have a professional look at your work. This is so important. Before I got into the industry, I emailed so many professionals and tried to get in touch with them so they could take a look at my work and tell me what I was doing wrong so I could show them that I would improve from there. A few times I actually got drawovers on my work and that was extremely important. It helped me a lot. And again, you wanna really be looking for the, the, the mistakes. You wanna be going after what you could be doing right. Not what you currently are doing right, because you've already got that done, okay? You've already got what you, what you're doing right isn't important. You don't need to learn that again. You need to learn what you're doing wrong. All right, if you wanna focus on the things that you're doing right, that means you're gonna be sitting back Back in high school with all the other little little kids still doing their the things that they thought that they were doing right Little baby high school high chairs sitting in the corner eating their little baby spaghetti thinking that they're doing everything right the whole time Get on a higher level people